The girl who sold her bathwater has returned to cause chaos, admitted to losing thousands and thousands of dollars in the process of becoming rich, but now she has a new shocking way to make money, and it's sick. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you remember who Belle Delphine is, you know, the girl who sold her bathwater to all the men around the world. The day her bathwater went on sale was the day where Gamer Boy's testosterone changed forever. And to be honest with you, men haven't been the same since, alright? No wonder there's so many blokes in the world trying to pheromone Max, they're too afraid of bathwater thanks to this clown. But now she's back, ladies and gentlemen, and she's selling a replica of herself. A replica with holes. <laughs> Not just that, but she jumped on Twitter and opened up about her finances, and let's just say she lost a lot of money. <laughs> and she was only on a podcast about a month ago, saying she wished she could kill herself from the internet. A couple of weeks later, she's selling a blow-up doll of herself. Yeah, and I think the person's podcast she went on was Lewis Thurrows, and if you don't know who he is, it's the guy that does the, uh, My money, money don't, don't jiggle, jiggle jiggle, it falls. <laughs> You know, the one that done that song. But all that will be discussed in today's video, ladies and gentlemen. And if you don't know who Belle Delphine is, allow me to give you a nice, smooth entry in today, into today's video. So Belle Delphine presents herself as a gamer girl slash e-girl. And this is the image that kind of made her famous. Or not the image, the video. The, yeah, this was a video. I didn't, I didn't see it, guys, all right? I didn't watch this. But this is the face that kind of blew it up on the internet and caused many men to drag their nutsacks across their screen hundreds of times a week. But I don't really see the appeal to this face. I mean, it looks like she's being possessed and having a stroke that she seems to be enjoying. She also made a video chewing a picture of PewDiePie, which was printed on an A4 piece of paper using printer ink. So I'm sure that's very healthy for you. And then she started an OnlyFans and started, you know, doing what people do on OnlyFans. And that's when, ladies and gentlemen, terror struck Earth. All right, that day was, was was the worst day ever because shortly after that, she she appeared in a bathtub with a dead squid. Oh, my mistake, I was wrong. It's not a squid, it's an octopus. Not that that makes a difference. Oh, look at the tentacles on it. <laughs> They're gonna be about 10 inches long. But yeah, she posted this video to YouTube where she was like doing daily activities with the octopus. I mean, here they are sat there drawing. And that's when tragedy struck is when she filled the bathtub up and invited the octopus inside. Inside the bathtub, not inside her, obviously. <laughs> and then she wrapped up the day by playing Guess Who with it, which is strange because you're playing a game with a dead slimy carcass and shortly after that is when she released the gamer girl bathwater and so many people bought this i don't even want to know what they were doing with it you just know there were people using this as natural lubricant which i wouldn't be surprised if your penis fell off afterwards but you wouldn't think that somebody selling their bathwater would be so successful so with that new information learnt, i have to take advantage right here ladies and gentlemen is 500 mil of sweat from my nutsack after a long day of shadow boxing in the sauna so, if you'd like to buy this, hit me up on Instagram. It's currently going for about a grand. But as I mentioned, she kind of disappeared for a while and now she's back. She came back two months ago and uploaded a video titled Pretending I'm going on an adventure, but in my bedroom. How's that work again? <laughs> but honestly, I don't really want to go too much into her content because I don't really know what she's doing. Like, the next video, she says I bake a cake where she's just, like, moving around the room doing different motions, I guess. I, I don't really know what it is. I don't know, to be honest. I don't really want to watch it, but... Let me just say what she said on Twitter about her bathwater. Not only did I not earn any money selling my bathwater, in fact, I lost money doing it. PayPal, without any warning, closed my PayPal account and took the 90 grand that I earned from selling my bathwater. There was nothing I could do. I tried phoning them up and they just said, Sorry, nothing we can do. I knew it would be a better news story than to say I made so much money from selling my bathwater, so I just kept this a secret. Ultimately, I'm still glad I did it since it was a really funny time on the internet when it happened. And I still did not mail out all the bathwater people bought from me, which I did all by myself. So, F PayPal, I guess? So yeah, it's not exactly the best situation, is it, ladies and gentlemen? When you literally sell your bathwater and then you get scammed by PayPal. God, all that hard work producing that bathwater. It was all for nothing. And she said she made 90k as well from selling her bathwater, which is crazy. I mean, 90k, I think it was $30 a bottle, so you can imagine how much that would be. Let's try and do some figures real quick. So 90,000 shared by three equals 3,000, which means 3,000 blokes across the world rub their sausage to Belle Delphine's bathwater. <laughs> Just to know as well that that actually probably did happen somewhere in the world. Makes it even more disturbing. She also went on to say this. I apparently broke one of their terms of service. And each time you break a terms of service, you receive a $2,500 penalty. So each payment of bathwater that went through was a break of TOS, which resulted in minus $2,500 every time without me realizing. They wouldn't tell me which PayPal rule I broke and they wouldn't give me any more information because of the security risk. So I didn't know if it was because they didn't allow sex workers to use their platform or if they had a specific issue with me selling bathwater. Regardless, not even 
even knowing felt shit. I mean, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, it's not exactly the best situation to lose 90k and then be charged $2,500 every single time someone buys a bath water from you. I mean, I can't relate, personally. <laughs> Just to know that the money that Belle Delphine made from selling the bath water is more than my mum would make in, like, four years of working is just absolutely insane. Should I just sell my nutsack water? <sighs> so let me just lightly dip my nutsack in it once in a while and then just sell it. Why not? And then we can see here the transaction details, payment status completed, minus $90,377.58. Hang on though, what's this next tweet? Ever wanted to f me? Now you can. Almost me. Oh my day. Okay, we're gonna look at that in a minute. Okay, let's just leave that for later on in the video because that is wild. But I firstly want to check out the podcast where she claimed that she wanted to kill herself on the internet. Basically, like, undo everything. So I guess that's kind of, like, contradicting considering what she's done now, but let's check out that podcast. We still like to have an internet presence, even if it's a kind of a more vanilla kind of content. Would that be fun or that you see no, that as I wish, pointless? I wish there was a way to kill me on the internet and just, like, somehow delete everything or just kind of die in a sense <laughs> and uh just move on i like chapters really yeah i you think just it, like to dis well, be quite disappear nice disappear would be a nice yeah, way maybe, of saying maybe it. close the chapter but i uh, there's no way to do that which is fine well what you can do is just as you, as we were saying disappear stop doing anything maybe yeah. what you're saying is like rather than fizzle out and have a kind of lower rated non-adult content social media account you'd prefer just to be well, completely I'm not, gone i'm not interested in the fame aspect of it so there was be nothing really holding me on at that point um and i think i think once it's run its course just leave it okay so she claims she wants to kill herself off the internet and just like be done with it i mean understandable i mean i don't suppose you want to be working on the internet like that forever i mean i'm sure maybe perhaps she might want kids one day and those kids are gonna have to go on the internet and see oh look that's my mum right there that's my mum in a bathtub with a dead squid <laughs> look timothy that that's my mum on the internet <laughs> that's my mum look what she she's she's doing something with the so yeah, I guess it's totally understandable that she doesn't want to be doing this forever. Like she's saying like she wishes she could kill it. So you could like sit there playing some games and you probably get loads of people watching you. Like you could literally just be a gamer girl on, on, on Kick or, or on Twitch or something. That would work. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think she should do? She should just make a Kick account, right? Or like a Twitch account. But that's the best part about it, ladies and gentlemen, is talking about how she's done with it and she wants to move on and close the chapter. But then she released a f***ing silicon blow-up doll of herself and tries to sell it to people. I mean, just read this. Ever wanted to f*** me? Now you can. Almost f*** me. I'm selling my very own customised sex toy, including my own clothes and worn panties. <laughs> selling a doll to people with second-hand clothes and second-hand knickers. I mean, you just know people are going to gobble that up and they, they just are. You know, the gamer boys are going to be there right now. F***. You know, they, they are sweating reading this. They are desperate for it. It's basically me just less annoying to buy Message Me on OnlyFans. Do you guys want to see the doll? The doll. You know that scene from Jingle All The Way where the kid is like telling like his dad that he really wants Turbo Man for Christmas? <laughs> That's what's going to be like with Belle Delphine. Tell me. What do you want? I want the real Belle Delphine doll with the arms and legs that move that's wearing her second-hand clothing and with holes inside her body so I can insert my meat. <laughs> <laughs> How the world has changed, ladies and gentlemen. How the world has changed. All right, let's take a look at this replica of Belle Delphine. Okay, a little bit of side boob show in there. I I'll give it props. It does look real in that image anyway. Oh, here's the face. Jesus Christ. Like, people are going to be busting fat nuts inside this thing's mouth. I guarantee you the rate of marriage is going to decrease about 50% after this doll is released. You just know there's a bunch of horny blokes who can't pick up real women that's just going to be buying this doll. And they're going to be spending all day humping this thing. You know what I mean? Not even, like, on the weekends. I'm talking about daily. Every single day after work. Sorry to piss on your fantasy, mate, but it ain't real. Another thing I didn't mention about my Belle doll fiend. <laughs> 
Okay. Is that it'll arrive to your house inside a coffin? Just when you thought it couldn't get any weirder. It always does, Wink. I mean, to the people who order this, I can't imagine what your neighbours are going to think if a pink coffin arrives at your front door. God, can you imagine all the curtain twitchers? They'd be like security cameras. Ships inside of a real coffin. Someone comes in, wait a minute, it's a literal sex doll? Nah, mate. It's a wax statue that came from the wax museum. I mean, it's just ironic that she's saying that she wants to kill the version of her that's on the internet, but she then makes a sex doll about herself. Like, we're going backwards here, we ain't going forwards. So you can just tell, ladies and gentlemen, that this is to make up for the revenue that she lost selling the bathwater. I really want to know how much these dolls are worth, you know, how long it takes to arrive, the ins and outs, you know, what kind of courier she's using. Uh, asking for Jerry, of course, you know, Jerry asked me to ask. But guys, I do want to say quickly as well, I'm sorry if this, you know, video is a bit all over the place. I'm feeling very under the weather, but I'm still sat here talking about Belle Delphine, so <laughs> you got to give me props for that, you know what I mean? And if you do want to check out my other videos, ladies and gentlemen, this video is about a guy who is Pheromone Maxin, probably one of Belle Delphine's audience members. And this video is about TikTokers who pretend they're dentists. 